Chapter 12, A Friend. I come in the side door and the phone's ringing. Bobby, what's going on? Are you all right? I've called six times during the past two hours and your father's tried too. Where have you been? Out. What does that mean? Out where? Out. You know, out, outside, like not inside. It's a nice day, so I went out. But, but how? Well, I walked down the steps to the side door, then I turned the doorknob, then I pulled on the door, and then I stepped over the threshold, and there I was. I was out. Mom is quiet. Sarcasm makes Dad get loud. Mom gets quiet. So where did you go? All over. Did you walk? On my very own feet. They work just fine. But how did you deal with, with my little problem? Simple. The sun was shining earlier, and it didn't feel that cold, so I just stripped down to nothing, and I went out. Silence. I wish you had told me, or your dad, we need to know where you are, Bobby. You need to know where I am, because you don't think I'm a responsible person? Well, I am. I know how to take care of myself. I'm actually pretty good at it. Silence again, plus a sniffle. I should be home tomorrow, Bobby, probably about noon. They've decided my nose won't need surgery, so that's good, I guess. Not that my nose has ever been some grand thing to be admired. Mom wants to have a conversation, but I don't. So you'll be home around noon? Yes. Then I'll see you when you get here. Good. Okay, well, I got kind of cold outside, and I just got back, and I need a bath now, so I'll see you tomorrow. All right, Bobby, have a good night, and call if you need to talk to someone. Bobby, your dad and I love you very much. We do. Yup. Goodbye, Bobby. Bye. As I hang up, I know I should have been nicer. I know she's just trying to be a good mom, but that's not what I need right now. It's later, after a great bath, after some microwave lasagna and two root beers, after I've played my trumpet until my lips hurt, after I've watched the last tap of the Terminator on cable, the phone rings. It's right next to me on the couch, but I let it ring. Mom, maybe Dad, I don't want to talk to either of them. I grab the handset just before the answering machine kicks in. Yeah, a pause about three seconds of silence. Yeah, is that how you answer the phone? It's Alicia. Oh, well, no, I mean, no one calls except my mom and dad, and I'm pretty tired of talking to them. She says, then I'll try again, and she hangs up. Fifteen seconds later, the phone rings, and I'm ready. Good evening. This is the Phillips residence. Bobby speaking. She giggles. Much better. Dignified. Yet not too stuffy. Now, if you'd said Robert speaking, that would have been too much. Then a qui in a quieter voice, so how are you? Did you thaw out? Yeah, completely. I love our hot water heater. It's one of the greatest inventions. Could be. There's a smile in her voice. But I think the toilet ranks higher. I'm nodding. Right. Plumbing in general, very good ideas. So how are you? Bored. My ears are worn out. You can only listen to so many audiobooks before everything starts to sound like mush. Then I don't know what to say. I haven't had much practice talking to girls. Not this week. Not ever, really. But I ask, so how bad did I scare you today? Because that's something I want to know. Like how big a freak I am, really.